Hi everybody, this is Joy and welcome to my desk. Today I'm doing a quick video tutorial on how I mix Perlex powdered pigment to use as ink for a pointed pen calligraphy. There are three basic ingredients. Distilled water. I like to use distilled water because the water in my area is very hard and I don't want the minerals in that hard water to affect the performance of my ink in any way. Your jar of Perlex powdered pigment. This is Aztec gold which is a beautiful, rich, deep gold, and gum arabic. This is powdered gum arabic. You can also use liquid gum arabic. The performance is the same. I have tried both. You also need a container to put your ink in. This is a jumbo-sized dinky dip from John Neal Books. I like them a lot to store ink in. The screw top makes uh, storage very easy. I've never had one leak. Okay, let's get started. The recipe for the ink is really about the ratio. The ratio is four parts pigment to one part gum arabic. And again, that gum arabic ratio is whether it's powdered or liquid. So let's do, I'm using a quarter teaspoon measurement today. And normally I do not level off the scoop. I just kind of wing it, but for the purposes of today, I will be exact. That's two, three, and four. I'm just going to wipe the measuring spoon so I don't get Pearl X into the jar of gum Arabic. Okay, and then one scoop of gum Arabic. I have a habit of using the back end of a straight holder as a mixing stick. You can certainly use a chopstick, a tiny spoon, a plastic stir from Starbucks, whatever works for you. This just happens to be handy for me. I like to give it a little bit of a stir before I add water just to incorporate the gum Arabic and the pigment powder. And now the water. Get these out of the way. For this amount, I'm going to add, this is a half teaspoon measurement, an entire teaspoon of water. And then give it a stir. One of the benefits, I think, of using Perlex powder pigment is that you can add or not add as much water as you like, depending on how you like the consistency of your ink. You can either make it really, really, really thin by adding more water, or you can not add as much water and your ink will be thicker and will stand up on the page. Uh, so you can feel it when the ink is dry if you run your fingers across the paper. And see how nice and smoothly this stuff mixes up? I really like it. That's, that's about the consistency that I like it. So let's give it a test. Let's see what we can do here. Clean that off. Let's get a here. I'm using a Leonard G nib for this, and this is my beautiful Hollywood and Mother of Pearl holder by Brian Smith of Unique Obliques. Hi Brian, love ya. And there we go. Voila! Gold ink. Beautiful. And when it dries, you'll see it has this beautiful shimmer that reflects in the sunlight. Thank you so much for watching my video. Hopefully that helps you guys. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to email me, uh, get, get a hold of me through the Flourish Forum. Um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have on how to mix this stuff up. Thanks, you guys. Love you. Bye.